Hello, I'm Tim Nichols, and I'm here to give you your Nichols Word. Today, we are featuring the Filament Enabled Bible put out by Tyndale House Publishing. So, they sent me three. Okay, these two are the NLT. This one is the King James. I'm going to kind of do my feature based off this one, but all three of them pretty much have the same functions. This one is really nice perimeter stitching, paper liner, 10-point font, large print, double column, corner reference. So, very nice silver gilding. I dig that. This one is a leather-like, sewn perimeter, paper liner, nine-point font, double column, corner reference. Both of these are in the New Living Translation, which is a great translation. This one is in the King James. This one has a leather cover. It does not have a sewn perimeter, but it does have a really nice synthetic liner. And I emphasize this every time I see a Bible with a synthetic liner. This is the way to go to make your cover just feel and look nicer, in my opinion. Gold gilting on the page edges. And you have a King James double column. This one doesn't feature a corner reference, but you can see them just about anywhere. It has All of them have, have ribbons, by the way. This one has a ribbon. But we're going to go ahead and go to the front. And I'm going to show you how to use the filament enablement on this. You'll notice it has a logo there for the filament. I'm gonna grab my iPad and it has an option to connect now. So you connect and it has a filament enablement. So you just say, got it, because you've already purchased your Bible. Then you use your camera to click on that filament enablement and it's gonna tell you to go to a page. So you tap here and it tells you to go to page 865. So we're gonna hurry up and go to page 865 and you will notice this is a red letter edition, by the way. Good, dark, rusty looking red. That is really just well done. A lot of people have issues with uh, red lettering. So once you get to your page, there's a little camera right here at the top. You touch that camera and then it shows you your page. You hit your page number and it tells you page 65 has been acknowledged, go. Now this is where it gets cool. Okay, so you're ready to go. You tap the ready to go option and it gives you your three study tools. So you have your study option. This gives you your study notes, gives you a book overview, gives you people that are featured in the book, and it gives you the themes of that particular page or passage. If you don't wanna keep scanning, that's all you have to do is click the next page as you read, and it gives you all of your tools and notes. Then it has a reflect, so it has a devotional. Each page comes with its own full devotional. This one features the miracles that astonish and uh, has your person that wrote it if you wanna kind of research them and get more stuff and material by them. And then this is really neat too, it has a C option. And this, they're connected to some Bible project videos and different videos that'll help you learn. Um, this one has a ton of the Bible project videos. I just really dig that they're working with them. Interactive maps, uh, just, just so many different things. First Century Synagogue, let's go ahead and click that. And uh, when you click on the star, it gives you, it also has interactive maps, which I don't have time to look at, but basically you click on the map, it shows you different features in the map. Speaking of maps, let's go to where the maps would normally be because the filament Bible really crushes the map game. It's got kind of a, a, a verse finder. It doesn't really have a concordance per se, but it has a visual overview of the Bible kind of intermingled with the maps. It has your patriarch map that comes standard with every Bible. And then it has other little maps, but I thought this was nice. It has the plagues of Egypt, each plague in which God it overthrew. So a lot of really neat things to feature in this. It has a Jewish calendar with the subsequent weather patterns, uh, all kinds of the, the feasts that are, uh, that are highlighted. It has, of course, your 12 tribes maps and how the land was broken up all the maps you're normal used to seeing. And then it has the books of the Psalms and broken down in their categories and types and just so much really cool stuff. So anyhow, I really recommend these. They're, they're not that expensive. I'll put the prices of each one in the description on this video. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to give this one away. New Living Translation, leather-like cover, nicely embossed, nice spine, silver gilding, does not come, oh, it does come with a little silver ribbon there. And it has all the maps and the filament and enablement. I'm gonna give this one to somebody if you'll do three things. First of all, share this video. Second of all, like my page. Then comment done. Now this is where it gets important. 
you have to comment done on the original post this video i'm going to share it to several groups and if you post done on one of the groups i'm not going to count that it has to be done on my page so anyhow there you have it i think these things are really cool um this is your nickelsworth keep calm jesus on